good anytime my fuzzies to a quick review of a game I just finished. All opinions in this video are mine and my alone, so just please enjoy and don't take them too seriously. Thank you. Good anytime my fuzzyites, and welcome to a quick review of Pikmin. Uh, as always with these reviews, I always do it a, a 1 to 5 rating system. What, zero one being that it just did nothing. It whatever it was trying to go for, I felt feel like it just failed miserably. It didn't hold up to anything, and it failed in that regard. Uh, three is that it did its basic job. So whatever it was trying to get across, it got across, but didn't do much more or better from there. And then five being that it took whatever it was and really shot it out of the park and blew my mind or really went for whatever it was trying to go for in a good way. All right. So first of all, let's go and review the story. So the story is a simple one, being that uh, you're Captain Olimar, you're flying through the sky uh, and space, and then you're hit by an uh, asteroid, you fall to the planet, your ship pieces go everywhere, and you must... Find those pieces, Salem's. Really having fun there. Um, so, the story is kind of basic, but what I feel elevates it to a new level than just being a basic thing is that at the end of, like, all Lamar talks to you throughout telling you what to do, what he's finding and whatnot. You find the Pikmin, he talks about them describes them and gives pointers to hey maybe this is how it is um as well as at the end of each day olimar does his own little hmm excuse me so here we have x and y and z's going on sometimes he talks about what happened during the day like if you accidentally blow up your pikmin he will talk about that in protocol and then give you pointers on the controls uh if there's a new bot if there's an enemy he sees he'll talk about them sometimes He'll talk about his family back home and whatnot. And even when you're getting the pieces of the ship, they tell you what the ship is and the description of, from his point of view, what it does. Sometimes he knows what it does, sometimes he doesn't, and it adds the charm to it. So overall, for story, I'm going to give it a 4.5. Uh, yeah, 4 point, yeah, let's go to 4. Now 4.5. Because it took the basic, you're strapped on a planet, but with all of Mars narrations, what you're doing and whatnot, and then just the simple progression, yeah, four. It's going to be a four. 4.5. Four. It's four. Stop fighting. It was good. It elevated it, but not... Now, nah, 4.5. That's final offer. Because <laughs> it was good. It, it gave you what you wanted and then gave you more from his talks and whatnot. Um, now let's go on to the characters. In the game, you have the basic main character being Olimar, but then you also have the Pikmin, you have so the enemies that you fight, which kind of have their own way of doing things and whatnot. So overall, with the characters, uh, but yeah, you have Olimar, like I said, you talked, he talks about his ship, he talks, any part you get, he gives like, his own rundown, a description of what it is, if it's vital or not, and whatnot. Uh, he has his end of day thing where he talks about either sometimes his family, sometimes what went on in the day, tips, uh, tricks, and whatnot. And he's a very, like, uh, he's very down to earth, straightforward, and qu inquisitive type. He doesn't know everything going on, but that's okay because he's learning. And I really like that about him. Um,. And then you have the Pikmin who kind of have their own personality. They can trip, which is annoying. They have their own little cute things. And then the enemies, they have their own little things. So overall, for characters, I'm going to give it a four. Because Olimar, he is, like I said, he's not just a, okay, I'm a spaceman. Here I go. I'm crashing on the planet. Oh, geez, this sucks. He talks to himself. He talks about them. He inqui inquires about the Pikmin. He inquires about what he's seen. He inquires about what he's doing. Um, so that will be a four. Again, just because there's not many characters to go off him. But he does come up with good 
thing going on and whatnot. Uh, the setting, there are many different areas here. There's five in total. And each one is pretty unique, is unique in what they have there. The enemies are unique. And just what you have to do in those areas. The, like, there are some areas that are just a lot of swamp. Some are dark and mysterious. Some are, uh, just plains. So there's a good val good amount of spaces to do and even puzzles in the area to get to where you want to go. There's, do I, blow up, do I spend time blowing up the walls in the one area so that I can get around faster? Or do I leave it because I don't need that and it won't really help me in the long run? So the areas have a lot going on. There's always something going on wherever you look, whether it be an enemy to fight, to capture, the ship part to collect, or whatnot. There is a lot. So I'm going to give the areas a 5 because they are well defined. They have a lot of good stuff in them and enemies and whatnot and so on and so forth. Oh, what else? So we've got character, story, settings, the gameplay. I guess we'll go gameplay. Gameplay, I really like the gameplay. You have to get your Pikmin up. You throw them or whistle or march them in a direction for them to do stuff. They take down enemies for you. They break down walls. They build bridges um, and whatnot. So they're very. it's very versatile, simple to understand. And even then, you have the... The red Pikmin who can go through fire and are stronger fighters. You have the yellow Pikmin who can hop higher or be thrown higher because they're lighter. And they can carry bombs and use bombs. And you have the blue Pikmin who can swim in water. And then you use their own individual powers to get through different obstacles in your way. All going towards the center goal of getting all the parts. Uh, with the... I, like... I'm, this version of Pikmin I've been playing has been the new motion control thing for the Switch, for the Wii, and it's good, but it's very hard. It was very hard for me to tell where exactly I'm throwing in the thing. It felt very uh, unconcise, not very concise to where I was throwing stuff and whatnot. A lot of the times, which frustrated me, especially if there's enemies where I need to take them out in one hit. But I can't really see that or do that. Which might be a me thing personally. But I feel like I've played this game a lot. If I don't understand where I'm throwing and whatnot by now, it can't just be me. Uh, but, so overall for mechanics, I am going to give it a 4.5 because it does well. There's a lot to do. Strategize, like I say, and get through. But the controls for at least, and this is... For ma mainly the Wii version of Pikmin uh, new motion control thing is a 4.5 just because it's kind of tough to figure out where you're aiming all, some of the times. Uh, anything else? Got the story, characters, the setting, we got the motion controls. Yeah. Yeah. So overall, the game, I'm going to give it a 4.5. It is a fun experience all throughout. It's challenging enough that you'll have to think a bit for strategizing the best way. And the best part about the game is you can play it over and over again. And they have a score sheet to say how long it took you, how many days it took you to get through, how many Pikmin died, how many Pikmin did you create, um, and whatnot. And then there's the challenge mode, which is fun. Not my cup of tea, personally, but I, I could see me getting some friends over and then going through and giving each of us a turn, seeing who does the best. So overall, 4.5, because it's a fun story, fun enough story, the character is interesting, the setting's great, and the gameplay I really love. So, 4.5 for Pikmin on the new Motion Plus. I don't think the original Pikmin for GameCube, or the GameCube version of the game, is gonna, would be any better or worse. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll play that one day just to see the difference, if I can find a copy. So anyways, thank you my fuzzies for watching another quick review. I hope you enjoyed the Pikmin series and I cannot wait to get to the next game. Whatever it may be. So until then, have a good anytime. Take care.